Hello Norwegians, I am Zara Albaro, a senior student, and welcome to Northwest Summer State University. I'm here to give you a virtual tour of our campus located at the heart of Kalbayuk City in Samar. I'm so excited to show you around today. It's quite a big campus and we've got lots to cover. So let's go! Our first stop on our tour is the Information Technology Building. This building is a significant spot on our campus for all Norwegian students. It is where they start and end their time here at NWSSU. This building houses the office of the University Registrar, where all students gather for their first year enrollment and where they also end their university life for senior year graduation professional march. The external affairs, international affairs, and gender and development offices are also located in this building. The IT building is also home to the College of Computing and Information Sciences. The CCIS prepares young minds and individuals holistically for challenging opportunities along with global consciousness, supported and nourished by experts in the field of computer science, information system, and information technology. The building covers four computer laboratories for all students across colleges. This is also the home of the management information system. This is the Teacher Education Building, the home of the College of Education. The Faculty of Co-Ed prepares future educators in elementary, secondary, physical, technology livelihood, and technical vocational educations to become highly qualified professionals and leaders imbued with Filipino aspirations, ideals, attitudes, and values for local responsiveness and global competitiveness. You can also find in this building the Office of Graduate Studies which offers students with advanced education so that they may become experts or scholars in the areas of education, management, science teaching, engineering, business administration, public management, guidance and counseling, library administration, or information technology. Just across the Teacher Education Building is the academic building that houses the College of Criminal Justice and Sciences. The CCJS prepares future criminologists, community developers, development communicators, and environmentalists to be leaders who promote positive change in their respective fields. Its faculty assures that they will leave its program as critical thinkers who are ready to make a difference in the world. This is the College of Agriculture and Technology. The CAT prepares future professionals to be catalysts of change, innovation, and excellence. With its commitment of pursuing practical excellence in agriculture, food science, and industrial technology, its faculty members ensure the production of quality graduates who are equipped, skilled, and globally competitive. now at the home of College of Management. Here you can find the Agritourism, Computer Laboratory, and the Hotel and Restaurant Management Buildings. The faculty of COM produces quality and competitive professionals who can cater to the needs of the local, national, Asia-Pacific, and global job market for they advance its programs in the business, management, administration, marketing, tourism, and hospitality industries. This is the Engineering Building, the home of the College of Engineering and Architecture. The College of Engineering and Architecture prepares future architects and civil, mechanical, computer, electrical, electronics, and communication engineers to be technically competent, innovative, and morally upright. Its faculty declares that it produces graduates with a comprehensive knowledge and competence in engineering and architecture, responsive to the dynamic needs of the local and global communities. Across it is the Technology Complex Building, which houses the Infrastructure Development and General Services offices. This is the Student Affairs and Services Building. Here you can find the Office of the Vice President for the Academic Affairs and Student Affairs and Services. 
The SAS office is responsible for the development and implementation of various programs and services that focus on the non-academic aspects of the student's life in the university, such as the acquisition of values and skills for lifelong learning. This building also houses the guidance and testing, sports and physical fitness development, medical and dental services, student body organization, and the student publication. This is the administrative complex. It consists of two buildings and one of which houses the offices of the university president, board secretary, and supply officer. The second admin building is a three-story edifice where you can locate the office of the vice president for administrative affairs. You can also find in this building the cashiers, budget, accounting, human resource management and development, and quality assurance offices, and more. We are now here at the Business Development Center, a four-story building intended for business-related matters and event venues. The ground floor is the office of the Auxiliary Services and Business Affairs where students can purchase school uniforms, lanyards, and many more. The second is a fully air-conditioned audiovisual room, and the third and fourth floors are open-air spaces available for programs and events. The NWSSU is mandated to perform research and extension services. This mandate is strongly executed here at the Research and Extension Building where you can find the Office of the Vice President for Research, Extension and External Affairs, supported by the Research and Extension Services, Research Centers, and the University Disaster Risk Reduction Management. This is the NWSSU Food Processing Center, a shared service facility granted by the Department of Trade and Industry. This serves as a hub for innovations and support services for value adding of fresh produce and development of processed foods. Through NWSSU Food Processing Center, innovative technologies, relevant support services, technical expertise, necessary facilities will be more accessible for food technology faculty, researchers, student and food processors in the community for a more effective technology application and commercialization for continued economic growth. One of my favorite places actually happens to be right here. This is the Noise Room sponsored by Rotaract of Ibatan Kalbayog. This room has been transformed into a venue for students to study, discuss, and do group activities in an interactive space. This is the Rinaldo SOE Social Cultural Center, where some of Norwegian's favorite activities are held. This include the university and collegiate orientations, parties, sports and arts fests, and sometimes holy masses. This is home to the largest events that NWSSU has to offer to celebrate the beginning of the school year and acquaint the students of its various clubs and organizations, we welcome them with a disco big party. Thirty-nine kilometers south of the main campus is the Sonori campus, the extension campus of NWSSU. Heading towards a promising future, the Sanhori campus prepares professionals in the field of elementary, technology and livelihood education, agriculture, forestry, agricultural and biosystem engineering, criminology, agricultural technology, and information technology. Its faculty and administration ensures that it enjoys quality education in response to the competitive international standards. When you enter the campus gate, this is the first building you will see. It houses many significant offices such as Registrar's Office, Cashier's Office, Accounting and Budget Office, Campus Administrator's Office, and the Human Resource and Management Office. The adjacent building is the Administration Building, and across the JICA Building is the Library and Audiovisual Hall. The library at the first floor of the building provides resources for teachers and students. On the other hand, the audiovisual hall serves as an area for conferences, seminars, and workshops. This is the Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA Building. 
the home of the Office of the Campus Dean, who is responsible for student recruitment, admission, and academic purposes, as well as verifying adequacy of instruction and monitoring academic integrity. This is the Science and Technology Building, where you can find some of the important offices in the campus. This includes the Campus Clinic, Guidance Office, Students Affairs and Services Office, Gender and Development Office, Records Office, Arts and Cultural Affairs Office, Sports and Physical Fitness Office. This is the Natura Hall, where you will find the Computer Laboratory, where students can do hands-on activities using computers provided. One of the best places every time you visit here in San Jorge Campus is the University Cafeteria. This offers delicious food, delicacies, and refreshments. All are very much affordable, which the university students, staff, and visitors enjoy every day. A space for group discussions, meetings, and rest is also necessary for students. Thus, the Sonora campus created this mini-student center. This also serves as the Supreme Student Government Office of NWSSU Sonora campus. This is the Student Publication Office as well as the Instructional Material Development and Production Office. Both offices are responsible for formulating, editing, printing, and distributing annual school papers or newsletter and instructional materials. This is the campus library, which provides resources as well as a quiet studying area for the students. This is the campus covered court, which is used for social assemblies, gatherings, meetings, and recreations. This is the agriculture building, where you will find laboratory rooms intended for the enhancement of knowledge, skills, and process of the agriculture students here in WSSU Sonora Campus. The Sonora Campus excels in research, and it is executed here at the Office of Research and Extension. Here, resources are topped for the promotion of research development, extension, and production. The University Farm has a variety of sites available for teaching, research, and recreation. This is very much open for use by WSSU employees, students, and alumni. These spectacular natural surroundings provide inspiration for classes and serve as a setting for learning about nature, cultivation, and the environment. NWSSU has become an attraction for guests and visitors for it offers multiple corners and spaces for leisure and recreation. The athletic field is a perfect place for various athletic activities. Its emerald green grass may serve as a bed for picnic, group study, or sleep in the late afternoon. The university library with its great reading resources and free Wi-Fi access has become the best den for bookworms. The food courts boost their very affordable and sumptuous meals served to the delight and satisfaction of Norwegians and visitors. The University Gym offers a selection of equipment for fitness-conscious individuals to keep in shape. The Office of the Arts, Social and Cultural Affairs offers opportunities for students and teachers to present their talents in exhibits, trainings, and local and global exposures. The University Mini Forest, with its green lushes, fresh air, and soothing ambience, has become a perfect place for nature lovers. Furthermore, in WSSU really commits to provide excellent, relevant, and quality instruction, research, extension, and production. Thankfully, because of strong leadership and management, more and more state-of-the-art facilities are built and soon to rise, which really aid in actualizing the university's vision of becoming a leading university in the region. To enhance the learning experience of the students, NWSSU continuously upgrades buildings to ensure an environment conducive for innovative learning, critical thinking, and team building. I can't wait to visit all undergoing constructions here at the main and Sonora campuses, such as University Hotel, which is an integral part of the management programs that would provide hands-on working experience for hospitality students. This will also become an activity and social center of the campus. 
University Students Dormitory, an extracurricular educational facility that would give students opportunities to experience communal life with discipline and to promote character formation under the circumstances suitable for academic pursuits. Balay Alumni, an accommodation center for engaged and supportive alumni who will be working on the generation of resources for the university programs making the university and its alumni more responsive to the needs of the Filipino and developing in them a strong civic consciousness and social awareness. Tissue Culture Laboratory of Samar Integrated Organic Agriculture Research and Development Center funded by the Bureau of Agricultural Research which will be supporting the conservation and regeneration of various crops. Also in line are the NWSSU Faculty and Staff Housing NWSSU Grandstand and Theater, NWSSU Sports Center, NSTP Building, PE Building, New Registrar and Library Building, and the Research and Extension Building. Thank you for joining me. I loved showing you around campus. I hope to welcome you to the NWSSU community really soon.